Vaccines are my top priority. I know premiers feel the same. Durant la campagne de vaccination, on continue de faire tout ce qu'on peut pour maîtriser la propagation de la COVID-19. Pour les vaccins, j'ai discuté avec les premiers ministres des provinces et des territoires de la façon qu'on peut administrer les vaccins le plus vite possible quand on les reçoit. Pour le dépistage, on a envoyé des millions de tests de dépistage rapide aux provinces et aux territoires. On va notamment travailler en partenariat avec le secteur privé pour le dépistage. De plus, le gouvernement fédéral donne l'exemple. On accélère les efforts de dépistage dans les milieux de travaux fédéraux. This is a tough virus to beat, but I know it's no match for Canadian teamwork and innovation. Just look at the results we're already seeing from our partnership with the CDL Rapid Screening Consortium to roll out tests to workplaces. 21 pilots, 26 pilot sites, 12 employers across the country, and more than 5,000 screening tests done so far. Already, they've caught positive cases. That means that people who otherwise might not have known were able to take the right steps to protect themselves, their families, and their co-workers. We have to use every tool in the toolbox to keep people safe, because we're not out of the woods yet. As Dr. Tam and Dr. New outlined earlier today, what provinces, cities, and mostly Canadians have done over the past few weeks has worked. Cases are down, hospitalizations are down, the number of deaths is down. But here's the thing. Variants are real, and they're already here. So we have to keep taking strong public health measures. And remember, even with vaccines, we need to do everything we can to protect vulnerable populations like our seniors in long-term care. Otherwise, we could see a third wave that is even worse than the second or the first. I know that's not the news you want to hear but we will get through this. I'm focused on testing, vaccines, and public health measures. The premiers and I spoke last night about not opening up too fast. And Canadians, you know what we need to keep doing, all of us. We need to keep focusing on those measures that keep us and our loved ones safe, like wearing a mask, washing your hands, keeping your distance, using the COVID alert app, and avoiding gatherings. Together, we have the power to keep bending the curve and prevent these variants from taking hold. Beating this pandemic and keeping you and your family safe will always be our top priority. 